Welcome to Trivia Thursdays, the day when we take a look at some Catholic trivia in a search for information that you don't already know. But after today, you will be six steps closer to being a Catholic genius. Categories include geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, sports and leisure. And here's your hostess, Andrea Serrani! Well, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And even though St. Valentine's Day is just a fake holiday made up by companies trying to sell chocolate. (laughs) And boy, did that work. (laughs) Still... It's National Marriage Week. It's a great opportunity for us to celebrate Mm -hmm. uh, human love of all kinds, but especially married love, which is why we're going to learn about married saints today. (laughs) (laughs) So are you ready for this? These are going to be a lot of people that we've already talked about before. So maybe you'll know the answers, but maybe you forgot. or Maybe we've never talked about this aspect of their life. Let's begin. Okay. Is that a better transition <laughs> than usual? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, geography. Mm-hmm. Blessed Carl the Emperor oh. and his wife, Venerable Empress Zita, huh. were emperor and empress of where? Italy? No. Oh. Isn't Zita like a Italian dish? <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess. Okay. Uh, but no, they were the emperor and empress of Austria. Huh. Uh, back pre World War One, when Austria was still its own whole kingdom and not just a country. And they're saints. Well, Carl is blessed and Zita is venerable. So oh. he has one miracle attributed to his name, and Zita has none. But she has been declared heroically virtuous. Good person. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Entertainment. When was the first movie made that featured both Mary and Joseph? The first movie? The first movie. Oh, my. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Oh, about the oldest movie that I can think of about Christ. I know there were our older ones, but it is Jesus of Nazareth. No. Oh. Um, in 1906, oh boy. the birth, life, and death of Christ was made in France. Huh. There, That's what it's called? There the was, birth, life, and yep, death of Christ? There was a movie before that about Jesus in 1903, but it okay. was just about the passion, so Joseph wasn't in it. Huh. Because he died before Jesus, obviously. Okay, history. St. Gregory and his wife, St. Nana, were rock star parents. Okay. They have three children. And all three of them also were saints. How many of them can you name? Is this the Walburga? <laughs> no. And what? No. no. Oh. I have no idea. Uh, James? No. Nope. St. James? No. Nope. Oh. One of them has the same name as the parent. Which is... Gregory? Gregory, that's okay. right. Gregory of, of Nanzianzas, who is a doctor of the church. Okay. And his siblings? His siblings are Gorgonia Ooh. and Caesarius. Hmm. Now you know. I do. Okay, arts and literature category. Don't hear about them too often. Saints Louis and Zelie Martin. Yes. Some of my favorites. We're both working parents. And their work was the kind of craft that some might consider art, which is why I put it in the arts and literature category. Mm-hmm. What did they make? All right. So she did lace. Yes. And was he making uh, n- shoes? Watches. Watches. But he actually, it's interesting. He actually quit his work so that he could help manage Zelly's lace business because she was so successful. Yeah. Shout out. That's girl power right there. There you go. Okay. Blessed Luigi and Maria Beltrame had four children, three of whom entered religious life. So shout out to them. Good parenting, vocations. 
When Maria was pregnant with their last baby, she had such serious complications that the doctors encouraged her to have an abortion, which she refused, and eventually the baby was born and both mother and child were healthy. What was the illness? The complication. Yeah. Did she have a form of cancer? No. Oh. She had placenta previa. Okay. Yeah, which then the placenta is in the wrong spot in the uterus, so it can cause like heavy bleeding and make it difficult to deliver the baby. So hmm. anyway, they were fine though. Good. Okay, sports and leisure. Glad that worked out. St. Isidore and his wife, St. Maria. Is this the farmer or of Seville? The farmer. Okay. The S- Seville was a bishop, so he wasn't married. Oh, that works out. What did they have for dinner that miraculously <laughs> multiplied to serve all the hungry workers Isidore brought home? It was, I'm not sure what particular type, but fish. <laughs> no, it was oh. stew. Stew. Yes. According to the story, Isidore's wife, Maria, always kept a pot of stew on the fireplace in their little home, as Isidore would often bring home anyone who was hungry. Uh-huh. Well, one day, he brought home more hungry people than usual, and she served as many of them as she could, but then she said, there's just no more. I'm sorry. And Isidore said, uh, check again. Right? He's like, come on, honey. Just, just check Classic. again. Right? Classic husband. Come on. Let's just make this work. And uh, there was stew. She just kept serving stew and serving stew and serving stew. Well, I should have not thought fish since he's a farmer. (laughs) Unless he's just a really good trader. (laughs) Like, here, I'll trade you this. Yeah. That stew makes a lot more sense. Probably either vegetable or if he's farming animals. Maybe have meat in it. Good one. 